my god, that is like a Pokemon, I swear. That is huge. <laughs> My name is Le En and today we are in the heart of Nishun, better known as Yishun, to find the answer to this burning question. Is Yishun as weird as people claim it to be or is it simply misunderstood? It's actually my very first time here exploring the neighbourhood. I'm very excited. I've heard that you can find Singapore's first end shop, intriguing gelato flavours and a strong kampong spirit. Follow me as we uncover hidden gems and the charm of Yishun in this episode of Discovering Hidden Gems. Let's go! Go! Our journey starts here in the heart of Yishun at Block 605. It may look like nothing out of the ordinary, but it's actually a special place for the residents here. It's where they gather to chit-chat over good food and a place that truly encapsulates the kampong spirit. Okay guys, I have Miss City here with me. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been living in Yishun now? It's more than 40 years. Wow, mm. okay, okay. Since I'm school in primary school. What does Yishun mean to you? Yishun is my homeland. Oh! Yes! May I know like what's your inspiration behind these morning gatherings, brunch gatherings? My inspiration for this to get along all the Yishun's people to know each other. So it's like a bunch of friends just gathering. Like what do you guys usually like talk about? We sometimes the family matter, sometimes because of uh, we also have some like, news. We have the sympathy. Sometimes we do the collection and also we contribute wherever association is that. Kampong spirit, right? What does it mean to you? Oh, Kampong spirit is uh, to recall our old memories. Last mm. time when we were staying in Kampong, whatever small matter, we get along together. Solve the problem, eat together, sadness, happiness, come into the Kampong areas. Do you have any recommendations on that? Oh, yes. Uh, there's an end, uh, the end shop. End shop? Yes. Different type of ants. Oh, the ants also can have a uh, chit chat with you. They know how to chit chat. I, you go and see. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll go and, go and see. see. Yeah. Thank you so much mm. for the invite. Okay, okay bye bye. Bye. Oh, in shock. In the bustling neighbourhood of Yishun, we have this super cool and unique shop, Just Ants. Singapore's first and only ant shop. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Come on. Hi John, hey, hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for dropping this by. This place is so cool. How long have you been staying in Yishun? I've been staying in Yishun since 1986. Why ants though? How do you get into ants? Since I was very, very young, okay. you know, I, I would go out, explore places where there are a lot of ants okay. and passion just built on. What's your favourite thing about ants? They impart valuable life lessons, like being selfless, uh, very loyal, a very strong sense of community. Okay, okay. I'm not sure if you know this, but we have the most ant species. We are the ant capital of the world. That's impressive. Yeah. And some are unrecorded. So would you like to look at some of our ant colonies? Yes, introduce to me that ant. Hi, yeah, Anthony. Is... Oh my god, that is an ant. I thought it was a spider. Eh. NS people, they go outfield and you see this kind of ant. Yes, if you have been to NS, you would definitely see... This is the queen. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, that is like a Pokemon, I swear. That is huge. She is the like, very rare Pokemon. But then you keep their dead bodies. So whenever an ant queen dies, <laughs> I will try to actually preserve her body. Okay. To like, you know, remind myself why I failed. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not because you failed. It could be just long... Old age, right? Old age, stress, you know, ants can be very sensitive. sensitive. Yeah. Okay, I can imagine. What's your favourite thing about Yishun? Everyone is so warm, very supportive. The kampong spirit is really high uh -huh, over here. Uh -huh. I'm so jealous. Eh? My one, my kampong not really. No spirit there. <laughs> yeah, I think you should move to Yishun. <laughs> good idea, good idea in future maybe. Just curious, um, where are you going next? Actually, I don't know. Eh. They just like dump me here and then like ask me to walk around. How about I take you out on a little tour around Yishun? Oh, what's good around here? I'm not sure if you like old school flavours and all that. I love, I love. So, why not we go take a look at the bakery? Really? You're going to bring me there? Let's go. <sighs> if you've got a love for old school bakeries and giant servings, man, you won't want to miss Hao Pang. So John, I'm really curious, what makes Hao Pang so special to the residents here? One thing's for sure, they are the oldest bakery in Yishun. Older than me? Of course. <gasps> okay. And they are most famous for their chicken floss bread. <gasps> wow, I see it. Yeah. Hello, Uncle. Hi, Lapan. 
你几时创造这特别口味的面包？应该是二十一年前的。那一次我自己在做面包啦，一直做啊做啊，一直想啊想，真跟外面的每个人都一样，都没有，好像没有进步啊。嗯。我们就是要做一个很特别的东西，才有办法吸引顾客。做人要有创意啊！对对对，这个真的做人要有创意，不要做 copy cat。copy cat 啊。<笑>做东西哈、啊，我们要自己创造的东西。还有一个满足感嘛？但 this is special， 好棒 ，floss， 好棒，好棒。With the decades of history stands testament to Yishun's enduring culinary tradition. So if you are craving for this slice of nostalgia, head on down to 好棒。谢谢安哥，打扰你了，拜拜。Oh, okay. So John, where are we heading to next? I'll be taking you to the most popular Cai Tao Gui store in Yishun. I love Cai Tao Gui. Crispy and with a hint of Cai Po. Oh, that sounds amazing. Let's go. Okay. Known for its incredibly tasty carrot cake, this eatery is tucked away at 618 Yishun Ring Road. Stanley, the second generation owner and part-time musician, brings his special touch to this iconic delight. Hello. Thank you so much for letting us try this super delicious carrot cake. No Can you like share about the secret or not? Uh, if I tell you, I could kill you. I guess we will not find out the secret then. It just tastes so good. Like what is so different about it compared to the carrot cake outside? Because what I noticed, right, it's actually not as oily as the ones you get outside as well. So traditional big chunks of carrot cake, they are more oily than this because they need to put more oil mm. to make everything uh, uh, more crispy. Uh. All the sides more crispy. Uh. Mm. This one you only need to can fry the egg part. Maybe that is the secret. No, actually the secret even bigger, right? Yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> Have you been staying in Asian for very long already? I think I'm the first generation for the new town uh, planning. My primary school, secondary school, my polytechnic, my first job in Asian. Wow, you might be even more Asian than him, eh? Yes. <laughs> the neighborhood right in Asian is very vibrant. Okay. Wherever you go anywhere, right? You can see people chatting, you can see a lot of things going on. Like the great kampong spirit, right? Yeah, I really love this kind of environment, this kind of atmosphere. So you really have like friends all over Yishun? Uh? Almost my whole family are in Yishun. Okay, okay. Even so my relatives. Oh. And I know the descendants of in Yishun and in Tongkang. Wow. Rough, if you are looking at this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys are visiting Yishun, right, do give Stanley a visit at 618 Sim Carrot Cake. It's open from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. close on Tuesdays. But you should probably come down earlier because today they sold out quite early. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So please, do give Stanley a visit. Henghua Restaurant offers an authentic Fujian Zi Cha. And they've been serving up Putian delights for over a decade. This place is a true gem. Hope you're still hungry because we have three dishes from the Heng Hua. First up, we have the Heng Hua style lor mee, the Heng Hua fried bee hoon. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we have the stir fried sliced yam. So, which one you want to try first? I can't make up my mind. Okay. Let's sure. try the lor mee first. Okay. Usually, when you eat the lor mee, right, it's like the dark color mm -hmm. one, right? So, this one is white. I don't know if you guys can see. It looks different than. <laughs> Traditional lor mee. Right. The sauce is very thick. Uh, thick with three C's. Yeah. Uh. Okay, that's a small, small spoon. Mm. Wow. How is it? It's lighter than the usual lor mee, right? Mm. It's very deep. It might be because of the clams. Maybe you should just try the mm, clams. I think so. Let's try the clams. Wow, the clams are very fresh. Oh, wow. They do have the, you know, the raw seafood taste. Mm, that's right. Don't have. I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try this. I'm trying it. Okay, okay. Try it. Wow, it's sticky. It's very sticky. Yeah. Okay, okay. I try to take a small piece. The sauce is kind of like the sweet and sour pork one. I can taste the wok hay from the sauce. Very crispy. Now we try the bihun. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is a lot thinner than the normal bihun. Yes, it's so fine. Even I'm eating hair. This is. Interesting, eh? the texture is really very different. Henghua Restaurant truly embodies Yishun's rich culinary landscape. It's located at Yishun Street 72, Block 748, and opens daily from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. 
Ishun, a place getting buzzier with cool cafes. We bring you to Moin Moin Gelato, a minimalist white gelato cafe that's just 8 to 10 minutes from North Point City. Moin means hi in German, and this place is sure to greet your taste buds with a hello. But what stands out are the ice cream flavors. From classic black sesame to premium pistachio, they've got something for everyone. Oh my gosh, thank you Patrick for letting us try this. I want to know what's the inspiration behind these flavours. My inspiration comes from bubble tea. Oh! Yeah, so I like to, you know, input some oriental flavours oh. yeah, into my ice cream. What do you think sets apart your shop from other shops outside, other gelato and ice cream shops? We focus more on the tea-based flavours. Okay, okay. Like what you have over here, this is um, the tea and ink, which mm. peach compote. Okay. Yep, and this will be the Osmenta Slide Sheet. Uh, yeah. Maybe you would like to try the ice cream first? Oh, I can't okay, be too. Okay, yeah. Good. Oh. I feel like I'm drinking tea, but it's always good. <laughs> hey, you guys want to try, right? You want to try? Um, Ming Fa? Can taste the Yu Tzu inside. Can I get um, <laughs> two, four, five, five more seconds. Wait, 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 wait. You should people are too generous, actually. Yeah. So, Patrick, what do you like about Yishun. The residents here are very friendly. I find that they are a very close-knitted community over here. I feel that our MP over here, Prof Faisal, is very caring. He's like he's very genuine and he's able to remember most of the, I would say, long-living residents uh, by name. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. amazing. Right. That's yeah. amazing. He has like a very um, touching side. In fact, I see him appearing in almost all the events in this show. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick, for letting us try your wonderful flavours, okay? If you guys love gelato, do come down to Ishun and visit Patrick. Of course, say hi to him. Hi. Gelato lovers, you cannot miss this. The residents, business owners and the community as a whole have poured their heart and soul into every corner of Yishun. It's this spirit, this sense of camaraderie, knowing and being known that truly defines Yishun. Now that we are done exploring Yishun, we are left in awe at the amazing sights and sounds of this vibrant neighbourhood. We've met the heartwarming community, we've met the warm vendors running their own unique shops. You can really feel the kampong spirit here. And thank you so much, John, for being our tour guide for the day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us in this episode of Discovering Hidden Gems in Yishun. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring, guys. Bye-bye!